Hello, Visionary Meaties. Welcome back to my channel. No, no, I'm sorry. No, hold on. That, that, that wasn't me. That, that was my wife. I know you're, you're looking to see her. But hey, I'm wearing her signature color. So my name is Kenneth, and I'm coming to you today with a very special video. And if you want to see more on her vision box, please stay tuned. I know it's been a while since my wife posted anything on this channel and she's going through a recovery process and you know she'll be back soon but hey you got me so I'm gonna take over her channel for a while and do some amazing content and there's a lot of stuff in store for you so let me stop yapping and tell you what this video is about it's gonna be on Annette's vision box which is a dream box dupe and once I show you everything inside how we made it and stuff like that you're gonna be amazed so let's just get into this video So what do you guys think? This is amazing. I know I've probably seen it a hundred times that this open and close it all over and over preparing for this video because I'm extremely nervous because I don't do these kind of things. But hey, aren't you amazed with what, what, what my wife created, what we created? It's just awesome. Before we get into all the details of this, let me just break down how we made it and show you video footage of us making it and then get into all the details. Oh, oh I forgot to tell you one other thing, you know, that you should probably want to do before you start, you know, you might as well just, you know, since you're already here, you might as well just, you know, subscribe because, you know, that's what people do. Be a part of the family, you know? Here's a magnetic whiteboard, and then it's, you can utilize this whole thing on both sides. As you open it, you can utilize this side, even with the other side, this stuff, you, as you close this, boom, you can store your cricket mats on it. I mean, it has the table, and I'll get into all the details of that later. So let's start about how we made it. To start building the vision box, you need a frame. And what better place to go to than Ikea, our favorite store. Well, my wife's anyway. So we used three Billy bookcases to build our frame. We used two 15 inch bookcases and one 31 inch. And as you can see from the website, they have various colors and sizes to fit your needs. The thing I love about Ikea is that they have so many options that you take everything home and build it yourself. If the Billy's bookcases won't work for you to build your frame, you can try the pack system, which is bigger. It's a very popular frame that people use. Depending on which frame you choose, the total price for building a frame using the Billy system is under 200. And if you use the pack system, prices can vary, but if you use one 39 inch frame and two 19s, it could cost around $400. The choice for us was a more affordable option than buying a dream box because as you can see once you start adding all the accessories the total cost could be well over $3,000 and then to get all the options it comes up to about $6,500 but I'm not knocking anybody that wants to purchase their dream box it just wasn't an option for us for several reasons the reason why we decided to create our own vision box is because the way it comes shipped it comes in a big crate and we live in an apartment building so I don't know how that would work out and the size they don't have other size options now that we got the frame it was time to shop for wood you would think we'll be building a house the amount of times we stopped at Lowe's and Home Depot to pick up different wood and accessories but we uh, bought wood to build the crown the drawers the table and all the inserts and compartments for the vision box to build the outer extended door panel we purchased four two inch by four feet popular board and cut it down to eight pieces to build the frame this is how the billy's bookshelf frames come in the box when you bought it from ikea so we're just going to put those together and start building the vision box we also purchased a white wall panel from lowe's and had them cut it for the backing of the front doors all IKEA's furniture comes with great instructions and it takes no time to put them together. Here are some of the tools that we use to build the extended door panels, the drawers, and the crown. We use 5 inch by 2.5 inch popular board to build the drawers. Once we put the drawers together, we have a sheet of plywood that we cut to fit the base of the drawers. 
since the height of the Billy's bookcase was too tall to fit in our hallway because our ceilings are low, we decided to cut it about four inches shorter. We used a peg hole jig to make additional holes throughout the frame of the Billy's uh, bookcases. Since my wife and our family are so handy, a lot of the tools that you're seeing in this video, you already had them, but if you had to purchase some of them, the cost of building this project could become expensive. Some ways that you can save money is if when you buy your wood from Lowe's or Home Depot, you can have them cut it for you. Or you really only need a handsaw to cut a lot of the wood that we use to build the drawers and the crown and a lot of the inserts. So you don't really need any special tools. We just had a lot to our disposal to make this project. We drilled additional holes in the frame so that way we could have different levels for storage. That's the beauty about building your vision box. You make it customizable to fit your needs. A lot of stuff that we're doing in this video, you don't have to do. So we made markings and drilled holes for where the table was gonna go. After we put the frame together, then it was the fun part of working on the details of creating all the inserts and shelving. On the frame of the two 15 inch Billy bookcases, we mark where we're going to insert the hinges for the external door frames. We use a chisel and these are the results. Any extra plywood, cardboard, or wall panels was cut and used to make different size shelving for the vision box. To build a table, we bought some shelves from Home Depot. Drilled holes in them, added some wood glue and pegs to connect the shelves and let them sit on the work table to cure for a couple hours with a clamp. Once the table was dry, we attached it to the frame. We used two locks, drawer slides, and hinges so that way the table can be locked in the up position, down position, and moved to multiple positions when in use. Next was building the crown. For the base, we used two feet by four feet white wood sanded plywood that was a half an inch thick. I'm using a Dremel to cut out the section for where the light's gonna go. We use half an inch white PVC and L brackets to build out the frame for the crown. For the finishing touches, we use white wood filler and rustleum gloss white paint to finish out the crown. We added a light that fit perfectly in that space that we purchased from Ikea. We installed the three frames with the crown and the extended doors and my wife is opening and closing them to see how they work. Here is the first completed version of the vision box. As you can see, we made quite a few changes. The first being the hinges. We switched from two and a half to three inch hinges so that way the frame can open and close a lot better. We purchased the door handles from Amazon. The next and obvious change was the door frame. Although the glitter ribbon made the vision box stand out, it would peel and leave a mess. Plus it would scratch up our arms and legs when we would walk past and rub up against it. So my wife had me scrape it off, sand a door frame, and repaint it white using some white IKEA paint. Now let me show you some changes that we made to the inside. To make her storage unique, Annette bought and cut different sheets of scrapbook paper from Michaels and added them to the containers for a colorful storage as you see here. We put marble contact paper on the table that we bought from Amazon. We got the adjustable legs from Ikea and attached them to the table with leg brackets we purchased from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and lift this table, guys, just to show you something different from the previous uh, one we did. Uh, my wife just decided to store the legs back here instead of having them attached on. And, and then how we use this, we just take them off and then screw them in on both sides. The reason why we changed the table legs is because they made the table really heavy and the wood that was attaching the brackets to the legs would constantly break. Since the legs are adjustable, we can adjust them to the height that we need. So this first height that I'm showing you with the old version of the vision box is the standing position. I'm letting the table down slow so that way the wood to the leg brackets don't break. That's why we changed them. Next is the sitting position where we have to unlock both latches to let the table all the way down. Here you can see we have the hidden storage behind the table where you can store another Cricut and some other storage. So if those two positions wasn't enough, my wife decided to add an extension and a drawer slide to make the table extend even longer for a third position which I call seated extended. And here's how it looks going back to the seated position. And here's how the table looks from underneath, where you have additional storage where you can store yet another Cricut. The vision box is so versatile as into how we can store things, put things away. Like you see me here putting a table in the up position so I can access the storage underneath or take the legs off to store them away. 
or you know change the positions of the legs to put the table in a different downward position it does take a little more time to screw the legs off on both sides of the table but we prefer using this way over using the leg brackets let me know in the comment section which way would you do your table would you like the leg brackets or would you do it with the screw the way we did now to our final and most important change which is the casters as you can see from the old vision box we use smaller casters we decided to change from two inch casters three inch casters and bought more wood to support the frame because the old frame would break because it's made of plywood and all the weight of everything inside the vision box was just too heavy to support it now let me give you a tour of all the compartments first we're going to start with the extended doors that you see here the magnetic dry erase board we purchased from amazon with magnets that we got from ikea uh, the container storage which are the pink storage that we got from dollar tree and the sharpies with the dry eraser we got from walmart let's check out the inside of this door panel to see what my wife has in store for you guys today two things to mention as i'm panning this door panel are the metal rods that you see on the top were used from a collapsible dish rack and the plastic inserts that are used to hold the paint and glues were made from corner guards all the shelves are custom cut to fit each compartment and the shelf holders are actually cord hiders overall this is where my wife stores all her ribbons assorted tapes leather acrylic paints glues and she has hooks where she hangs up her scissors or fabric cutters moving on to the 15 inch frame here she stores a lot of her dollar tree storage ikea storage containers she has her sharp tools sublimation inks she has a small storage on the side that she got from amazon she has sewing material that she got from joann's a lot of other sublimation stuff vinyl ribbon storage sewing storage um the storage bin she got from amazon it's just so much stuff to mention that i know i'm gonna miss a few things that's why i'm trying to pan through to show you how she has every section or us. Like I mentioned earlier, all the containers uh, for the inserts on that use scrap with paper, I guess, to, for different colors and designs to make the storage look more fun and colorful. Now on to the middle section with the crown. The crown is actually the, my favorite piece of the vision box because I just love the way it came out. You can use storage on top like you see here and then you have the light which has so many functions. It could dim, it can brighten, it has a remote. The metal magnets that you see in the middle are for when we close the doors, they stay closed. What we have here is more IKEA storage that has like a hot glue gun and other crafting tools. We have some five or below storage, some Dollar Tree storage. We have a pen holder that Annette got from Joann's. We covered the three drawers with some contact paper and bought some hinges that we got from Amazon. Inside the drawers is miscellaneous storage and, and they could come completely out. There is no connection between the drawers and the frame. Directly underneath the drawers is where we store the attachment piece to the, the remote light and the adjustable tablet holder stand. Annette recently added a wireless cell phone charger as you can see here. We have a Dollar Tree light next to the Singer Song Machine. We have some storage outlets and a mini iron. Underneath the table, Annette has a couple of her Cricut stored under there and another power outlet with USB ports. So on the other extended door, we have IKEA hooks which stores Annette's Cricut mats. This store just has regular backboard with contact paper on it. On the inside of the door panel, Annette has added yet another new feature for this vision box and that is the Bluetooth speaker. Okay, now that that's tested, let's talk about the rest of the storage. The vinyl rack is for Michael. She has paint, glues, and office supply storage, which also comes from Michael's. And there's some specialty tools and other Cricut tools on this door. Okay, so we're moving on to the last frame. In this frame, she has pink basket Dollar Tree storage, big Amazon storage containers, small storage containers from five and below. She has paints glitters and additional storage behind them ikea storage sublimation fabric she has a laptop storage inset that you see there that we use to store on macbook pro or other tablets a lot of the inserts that you see were from the original billy's bookshelf were cut down to create more storage and additional shelving that you see there is vinyl sublimation mass and on the bottom shelf she has her cricket mug press now that you see it inside the vision box let me show you how we store it away when we're not using it Be 
before I conclude this video, I just wanted to show you some other ways that the vision box could be used. Like for example, if you're a makeup artist, you could use the table to set up your makeup station as my wife has here on one of her mirrors and I just kind of show you a setup. Or if you do hair or nails or have a small business, you can use this vision box for those things also. There are so many options for storage and organization with the vision box. And to think we did all of this for under a thousand dollars is just amazing. As you can see, my wife likes to utilize and optimize the space that we have because our place is very small. Uh, just in our living room alone, we have so many different spaces in that living room, like my custom bar, which I should be doing a video on of that really soon. And we have our living room and our little area with our fish and then our seating area by the window. And then my wife's nail salon slash beauty bar slash hair salon and then I actually live room myself. And then I mentioned we also have a dining room here too. Yes, all in one space. So if you have a small space, big space, it don't matter. You can you you could utilize a lot of different things you see in this video to make work for you. My wife and I are always gonna try to help you with that a small apartment struggle. So we're in there with you. This concludes my review of Annette's vision box. I hope I did a good job on this video reviewing this. It's still a work in progress, so it's a lot more stuff that my wife wants to do to this because it's, it's so many things you can do with this box as far as creating to use it for making it having a small business at home. Sublimation or for uh, storage, you can, it just you can be utilized for so many things. This is also a way to keep uh, your stuff organized and neat and not all over the house and definitely away from children and it'll make you want to feel motivated to create because you have all your stuff in one space that you can see and have access to. Another suggestion is if this probably won't work for you because we use the Billy system, you can use the pack system, which is much bigger. And if you have a bigger space, you can also create a closet or a box like similar to this. So if you decide to you go with a pack system, which is a bigger closet to, than this one, it holds more and you can use it, utilize it for a lot more storage. I know it may seem difficult, but if you have time and patience, you can definitely get this done. It's something that you can actually do in a week if you're motivated and then add in the different sections and you can make it customizable to fit your needs. If you want to create your own vision box, I'll leave all the, the details in the description below of, of all, most of the items that we use to build this. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down in the comment section. I'll be sure to get back to you. Let me know what you think. Please like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as always, in my wife's words, stay fabulous and be your own vision of beauty. Till next time, see ya. For many of you that uh, struggle with, um... <laughs> what are you doing, dude? <laughs> right when I'm recording, he wants to start playing with me. That's my dog, Moji. Uh, you can't see him in the video, can you? Oh, you can? Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Guest appearance. Guest appearance from Moji. All right, I'm sorry. So for many of you that str struggle with uh, small spaces, um... Damn, why am I drawing a blink right now? Oh, like,